What is going on? My name is Abu and welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to develop your skills in HTML, CSS and JavaScript from the ground up to the expert level, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, so in this lecture, I'm going to teach you how SAMP tag works in HTML and how to use it properly. Before you decide to mark up your text content using SAMP tag, you need to answer this question. Do you have sample output from computer programs in your text content? If yes, then you can use SAMP tag to mark them up. Now, let's write some code and learn how to use SAMP tag properly. Here I open up the HTML document I created for this lecture using Visual Studio Code. Starting from line 18, I have a block of text and saying that when the printing is done, the printer will output the text, print job completed. You can then turn off the printer. And this part starting from print is the sample output from the printer. So we can just mark up this part using SAMP tag. So the opening SAMP tag looks like this. Starting with left angle bracket, SAMP and right angle bracket. And a closing SAMP tag looks like this, starting with left angle bracket, forward slash, SAMP, and right angle bracket. Now I'm going to save this and let's try this up in the browser and see how they look. Okay, it worked. As you can see, now the sample output from the printer I marked up using SAMP tag looks different compared to other text contents. That is how browsers render text content marked up using SAP tag. Now, if you started learning HTML and you want to master when and how to use every different HTML tag, make sure you check out this playlist and it has everything you need to master different HTML tags. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.